Alright, this is a video to explain how to linearize or transform your data for this level 2 experiment where you rolled a marble down a ramp and you measured the distances that the marble traveled and the time that the marble took. So, your data should look something like this where you have the distances the marble traveled and the time for each of your trials. So, here we go first job you probably have to do is to calculate an average. So if you want the average time in seconds, Excel can do this for you, or you can do it by yourself. It's totally your choice. Here's how to do it in Excel. You hit equals, you type in average, a bracket, you highlight the numbers you want averaged, you close the bracket, and you hit equals, and there it is. 1.37 is the average of every number from trial 1 to trial 1. And what you can do is if you see this little tiny X that the cursor turns into, here's the regular cursor, here's this little tiny black X. If you drag that and dra grab it and drag it down, release, it does all the others for you. If you click, you can see the equation it's using up here, where it's now doing everything in row 6. This one is doing everything in row 7. So now we have our averages. It's even in the same number of decimal places as these. Then we can turn the lines on, and there you go. You have your data table. So, we still haven't linearized the data. All we've done is calculate the average. Again, the point of this is to either change the independent variable or to change the dependent variable so that we get a straight line graph. So, we're going to go back to the experiment. If we graphed the distance traveled and the time on the same graph, we would not get a straight line. You always get a curve. In the experiment, there will always be these equations that are given to you. So, point being that this equation here has the distance and the time squared. This one here has the same distance and the time squared. So, because of this massive hint in the instructions, we're going to square the time. So back to our Excel graph. All we need is to copy and paste that data so we have the same distances. Now next to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square each of these time values. Now, you, again, you can do this by hand or you can do it in Excel. So we're going to have dv squared. You put your cursor where you want it, you hit equals, you click on the number you want, 1.37, then you hit the arrow button above the 6, and you put in a 2 for squared. That tells Excel to square 1.37. Hit enter. Right now it looks a little crazy because it's trying to put way too many decimal places on it. So what we can do is we can format the cells if this happens to you. All it's doing is it's trying to put way too many, it's trying to put 8 decimal places on that number. Way too many. If all we want is two decimal places, so that it pairs up with the 1.37, hit OK, there it is, 1.88. The same way, you drag that down, and you can do all the rest of them. So now we have 2.55 is 1.6 squared. So you can have Excel do it for you, or you can do it by yourself, but either way, you are going to have to square the time. So that's time squared. Now the units for this are seconds squared. So now we have the distance and the time squared because the formulas that were given to us had distance and time squared. Now we're ready to 